that's that's definitely a fire, I'd say. Ooh, the road has just dropped down there. Good morning internet, it is quarter past eight in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Kilotonga. Uh, I am still, I have to admit, I've been here a few days now and I can't say I'm fully acclimatized to the altitude. I'm still short of breath quite quickly, which is not really surprising because I am at 3,500 meters, so it's quite high. Here is Alaska. So, but in today's video, I am going to explore locally and I'm going to have a look at Lago Kilotoa um, and hopefully that will help me acclimatize because I think that's a little bit higher than here so that when I come back here tonight and sleep low that will help me acclimatize better but for sure in today's video you're gonna hear me huffing and puffing I'm really sorry but there's nothing I can do about it before I go I'm gonna fetch a, a breakfast the breakfast in this place have been really quite good so I'm quite looking forward to it. Good morning. First, I need to get Alaska out of this little pathway. <laughs> Challenge number one. Oh, yeah. Alaska is struggling a little bit with the altitude. You can tell. So the lake is somewhere on this side. I'll just have to find a place where I can actually see it. Not sure if that's here. No, I think this is a walking trail. Oh, well, <laughs> here it is. Look at this. Wow. This is actually a walking trail, so I can't really continue here. But look at this. I don't know why I thought that I would first have to climb. It turns out that I was pretty much along the edge of the crater lake all along. <laughs> ah well. So remember that some 150 million years ago, the South American continent was still joined with the African continent. And when the two started breaking up, it had major geological consequences for places like Namibia, as we saw, if you remember, season five. Um, but also here it had ma massive consequences, of course, because the western tectonic movement of the South American plate resulted in a collision with the Pacific plate and boom, the creation of the Andes. Now this tectonic movement has also resulted in high volcanic activity. And here in Ecuador, most of what you see here, all the terrain is all of volcanic origin. And perhaps the most famous string of volcanoes, volcanoes that you find here in Ecuador are all part of the Ring of Fire. And the Ring of Fire is basically a string of volcanoes that follow the Pacific Ocean's edges. And the Ring of Fire is responsible for 90% of the world's earthquakes and it contains 75% of the world's most active volcanoes. Now this one here, Kilatoa, is the westernmost of Ecuador's Andean volcano. And it produced eight eruptions in the last 200,000 years. And the most recent eruption was about 800 years ago. And actually what we're looking at is another caldera. Do you remember? From Namibia as well. So what we're looking at is actually a collapsed magma chamber. And the crater lake is about 250 meters deep. So it really is quite deep. 
and when the sun shines on it it gets really like this amazing color uh, which is caused by volcanic minerals but now it's a bit cloudy so the colors don't look as spectacular as they sometimes do okay let's see where else i can ride around here <laughs> See if I can go up here. There's a road here, I think. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> I'm literally riding just on the edge of the crater here. How cool is that? They're just building uh, guest houses and stuff here. Let's see how far I can ride. Wow, this is cool! I can't believe they made like a little road here. Is it on a viewpoint? Creo que solo es para caminando, ¿no? Solo para caballos. Caballos. ¿Qué, qué está abajo? ¿Un restaurante o algo? La, la canoa. Ah. ¿Se puede alquilar un canoa? Sí. Ah. Qué bueno. ¿Usted es de aquí? No. No. ¿Trabaja aquí? Vine con los turistas. ¿De dónde es usted entonces? De aquí una hora. Pichos. Ah, Sichos. Ah, pasé por Sichos. Sí, porque vení desde Mindo. ¿De Mindo? Sí. Y solo por ruta en tierra. Sí, sí. ¿Solita? Sí. Ahora estoy aquí por unos días para aclimatizar porque sufre la altitud un poco. Pero aquí no más el frío, abajo es más caliente. Ah, ¿eh? sí, claro. Chao, que le vale bien. Oh, 
All right. Let's see what else we can find. There's a route down there that goes all the way to the water. But I actually doubt that <laughs> it is for motorcycles. I think it's walking only. I'll have a look. So you can see the little path there. But it looks super steep, to be honest. Oh, there are steps there. You see? Ah, there's uh, there's steps down. <laughs> ah, it's for walking only. Okay. Where else can we go? Go for a small ride. See what else is there. This is to prevent uh, landslides, I believe. It looks pretty surreal. I see the clouds are rolling in already. It almost looks like something is on fire, but these are just clouds. Oh. What happened to the road? Oh no, there is something on fire. <laughs> Look. That's that's definitely a fire, I'd say. Ooh, the road has just dropped down there. Oh, it's the whole side of the hill there is on fire. It's a bit odd. Now I don't know anymore what's cloud and what's fire. Let's go in here. steep down I've already gone down 300 meters now my plan was to go a little bit higher today not lower but okay oh wow that's a uh, that's a walking bridge I don't know if you can see that over there Woo. not for the faint-hearted place to ride. Ah, I think here. Hola! <laughs> ¿Qué comida tienen? Papa con huevo no Okay, un porción por favor. Hola! <laughs> Sí, porfa. Hola. Buenas. ¿A dónde va? Ah, me me quedo en Kioto. Solo estoy puede. Gracias. 
¿Cómo se llama? Alba. Alba. ¿Tu madre? ¿Hermanos? ¿Cuántos años tienes? 18. Ah, Entonces, ya, escuela ya no más. No, ya está bien, ya con este. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Luego en Kilotoa. ¿En Kilotoa hay? Sí. ¿Puma? No. Pero no, ya no hay más. Adiós. Chao. Right. That was a nice, uh, nice little potato egg lunch. Why not? Now I'm going to ride back to uh, Kilotoa before the visibility really becomes super, super poor again with the clouds. I had a really nice chat with the people there. They were inquiring about job opportunities in the Netherlands, asking me if there were a lot of jobs and how much you would make there because they said there are no jobs here. Only some jobs, some, uh, some plantations. But other than that, there's just no work around here. I think I'm just in time. See how the clouds are already coming up here as well. Just no visibility. Oh, see, and visibility is quite handy. When there's suddenly a bus <laughs> on your way. Yeah, this is exactly what I feared. Can't see anything, eh? Oh yeah, here suddenly the road was gone. You see. So dangerous when you can't see anything. Woo! I've lit up a Los Galak Christmas tree. So I'm riding with uh, big headlights and my uh, warning signs, whatever you call them. I am here, back again in Kilotoa. Do I have to pay again? Hola! Ya pagó hace tres días. ¿Necesito pagar otra vez? ¿El boleto? Sí, ya compré uno hace tres días. Me quedo adentro. Hoy solamente fu fui a un pequeño viaje. ¿No? ¿Sí? Ok, gracias. Vamos a buy a ticket to enter town. Two dollars. But I already bought it, of course, when I arrived here. So I figured, surely I don't have to pay again. Which I don't, so. It's good. Oh, here in the middle of a cloud. I think I made it back just in time. It is now uh, raining outside. I don't know if you can see anything. So this is my little room. Nice, hey? I think I'm gonna make a fire tonight because it's quite cold as well. Increase the temperature around here a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was a nice ride. It's just there yeah, you can only really do anything here in the mornings, so it seems, and then the afternoons are just completely in the clouds. But uh, no, I loved the little ride and it was just good that today. I just had to take it a little bit easy. I think uh, the last ride was really <laughs> a little bit hectic um, and then the altitude, you know, uh, I really am struggling acclimatizing a little bit this time. So it was good to just take it easy, go for a small ride and um, then take more rest and um, yeah, make sure that I'm fully acclimatized before I climb even more because that's the plan for the next episode. I want to go to the next volcano. But that is another thousand meters higher, which is quite a lot. But uh, I don't really see a way to kind of, yeah, make the increase uh, or the, the increase in altitude slower. So I just gotta do it, I think. 
um, but I think it does help if I'm fully acclimatized on this altitude. Anyway, enough about altitude. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.